countdown is on to that Thanksgiving dinner. And if you're looking for the best wine to go with your meal, Sommelier at Masti's is back to help us out this morning. Always a pleasure. And interesting, because I was asking you, okay, so we're pairing these. Is it going with the turkey? Is it going with the ham? But that is not necessarily the case when you're talking about the pairings. It's a good point. So there's so many options, right, with all these different harvest uh, uh, veggies too. What I always say though to people is be mindful of the sauce that you're going to put on the protein, whether it's ham or turkey or salmon. So for example, a uh, really crisp um, or a refreshing uh, sweet cranberry sauce, you want to have a wine that also has a little bit of sweetness in it versus turkey with gravy. Okay. So you're, you're choosing your options based on more of the sauces the sauce. than you are the protein, the yeah. meat that you're having. Exactly. Okay, I think a lot of people yeah, are kind of going, key. okay, we have to change our, our, our mindset right now. And you've got some great uh, ideas for us. Yeah, exactly. So starting over here, Leanne, I've got uh, two Rieslings. Uh, the first one, the Red Tractor, it's a new product coming in that has just a little bit of sweetness. So this would be great with like butternut squash soup or something. Moving on, we've got the Inniskill and Late Autumn Harvest. So it's a little bit sweeter. That would be ideal with that turkey with the, the really sweet mm -hmm. cranberry, the cranberry sauce on top. Exactly. Or with spicy dishes. Uh, next up, Kim Crawford uh, on Oak Chardonnay. Please try this. Do you mind these. if I, yes. okay, I'm looking Thank at you. this one, but Kim Crawford, a lot of people are very familiar with very this Very familiar, yeah. yeah, from New Zealand. Most popular probably for their, their Sauvignon Blanc, but this is an un-oak Chardonnay. It's really That's elegant. Nice. This would be great with, with your turkey, with just a nice gravy on it or salt and pepper sort of thing. Um, it, it, I wouldn't want to pair this with the cranberry sauce because this is dry and it might taste bitter actually. So If you're going with that sweet cranberry to then take this, it's not going to work. Exactly. So this is more of the gravy, the gravy yeah, feel? Yeah, that's right. That's okay. right. Very nice. Next up, Painted Rock. This a beautiful wine. This rosé is from British Columbia. And just the color of it. I mean, rosé is a perfect wine to enjoy this weekend with whatever meal you're, you're going to be plating. And this one here is just loaded with really ripe field berries and fruit. Really nice. Delicious wine. So are it, people are people going more with the rosé? I mean, there was always like this. Oh, it's such a girly look and a girly wine, but it's not. Dry rosés. So nice. Yeah, dry rosés are beautiful. <laughs> um, the blushes and the white zinfandels, not nice. This is terrific, though. Right? Okay, very nice. Now so, we're going darker. Yes, we're going to the dark side. We've got a couple Pinot Noirs here, one from Rosewood Estate, great wine, $22. Next up here, Miami from California. Look how delicious, like ripe and the red, color. big that is. That is so fruity but dry. So it's ideal with a um, with something that can really stand up to that the structure of that wine. So take pork with a like a berry compote on top, real nice dark berries. That the sweetness to it again dry, but it's just very ripe and. Okay, and tell me if I'm completely off with this one, but I have like as soon as I took a like a smell, it felt like I was going near a sun like um like a. Like, that like the sauna. cedar? Yes, okay. yeah, I kind of so, got that feel. Yeah, the cedar, and there's like this black cherry That's in there, really so nice. it's a big wine. Okay. A Cab Franc from Rosa. This just came out in Vintages on the weekend, and tr please try that. Okay. It is so Swiss smooth man. and elegant. And Cab Franc, some people, well, geez, Cab Franc with, you know, with thanksgiving but yes this is ideal and it would be terrific with lamb with just herbs i just right? said i see this with more like a like a red meat yeah, yeah but, nice. but still like a delicate red meat um beautiful one and okay this is di finally. this is a different thing i'm excited yeah. for this okay what do we have here so sparkling wine in turkey very popular right how about enjoying that sparkling wine with your dessert as well so what i've done i've added some uh, i've created a cider mimosa just by adding some fresh cider from Orleans. I bought it out there and I topped it up with sparkling wine. And now you've got this sweet drink that you can enjoy with apple crumble, apple pie. So you, you can, it's a good way to kind of use one thing for multiple purposes. I might be a little loopy by the end of this show because I think I might just completely down That's this That's a right really now. sweet <laughs> drink, very really, nice. Uh, yeah. That is awesome. Okay, where can people find more information? You always have some great recommendations and, and I know you've got kind of a great site to yeah, check out. Yeah, so quercusvino.ca, I'll post these wines. And again, remember that tip, they'll pair your wine with the sauce. With the sauce, the taste, not actually the protein. Thank you so much, Matt.